Hello, welcome back to NRS Digest. Slight different layout because my computer is still dead from last time. Yeah, not very good planning. Pretty much like the majority of this. I'm still going to keep uploading videos, but I've already got to learn how to make them better. Maybe get some of these viewers who are actually watching to keep watching, basically. I mean, I keep saying that I want to get a news article here. I'd like some better lighting. Still trying to set up the new studio in the attic. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite tiring working and then coming home straight away. And this is the only time I really have and then filming a video. Because, yeah, I've literally just come home from work, so. Trying to keep the energy high. I need to fix the gap in my teeth as well. I'm not very uh, photogenic of me, you know? But I keep saying I'm gonna do like another a follow on to this video or second update. I think I've forgotten to upload some videos as well. Maybe I'll do that later down the line. I think about the Madeline McCann story. Maybe I'll do a huge video once that finally comes to a close, which should be what well, should have been last week. But you know how this goes. Nashville school shows. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, here I am. Hey, so <laughs> Nashville school shooter had emotional disorder in small arsenal. Please say, I know. Um, and I said I was going to do another video on this, and I did hear that posting the name of the person and then or an image of them can encourage other people to do so so maybe i will change the name or sorry change my heading border of the last video because i do have a picture of the shooter but it's only been seen by 10 people so i really doubt that i'm like you know encouraging copycatters by any stretch of the imagination with 10 people i mean if i actually had some viewers then maybe it would mean something but doesn't so i was just watching a video here of all the uh your family members or friends and other people at the school they were i think it was a candle video it looked like they were doing there but yeah well, i mean i did apologize i did get angry at joe biden yesterday for making it political not because there's always what well, people need to find out what happened and after finding out bit more about the story of course it was always going to be political and it just was it just had to be at this time it's things are getting very spicy especially in the US and well it wasn't going to be good but coming out straight away that was the main my main gripe with Joe Biden like give it a day or two I mean there's always going to be the gun debate there's always going to be the other debates and it's always going to happen and you know we should talk about these things we shouldn't just brush them under the rug because we're too scared to offend people or get accused or accuse each other of standing on graves, etc. etc. But what we should do is I'd say give it a grace period of a day or two. And um, especially from the president of the United States, I feel like he should be at, should have been a little bit more cordial and really shouldn't have made it political at all with such a role that he has. Maybe when more evidence has come out, then maybe. Because people always want to jump on the fact, they want to get blame a race about this, they want to blame a political agenda. And half the time people get the facts wrong because they're waiting for a bit more to come out. But anyway, this is a news article from Reuters. Nash oh, I read the news, the headline already. Nashville, Tennessee, March 28, Reuters. The former student of a Christian grade school in Nashville who killed three nine-year-olds and three adults in a shooting spree that was that there was under a doctor's care for an emotional disorder and had amassed a collection of guns, the city's police chief said on Tuesday. New to details uh, new details about the assailant, Audrey. Maybe I shouldn't mention the name. Let's just call her or he oh <laughs> Maury walked into the trap. Um yeah, there was a lot but basically the, the person was transgender. It was a biological, <laughs> that's always so difficult, isn't it? It's a biological woman, so a trans man. I've heard a lot of um, different places have been misgendering this person, um, where normally they hate to misgender, but it's like they can always pick and choose when they want to. Let's just say the shooter. 28 emerged hours after police released harrowing video showing officers, officers storming the Covenant School in the midst of Monday's rampage and conducting a room-to-room -room search before confronting and fatally shooting the shooter. Authorities say they were still trying to pin down a motive. Detectives poured over various writings and other 
evidence left by her. Well, yeah, apparently there's a manifesto and it's not being released and some people are fearing it may be adopted. Um, there is a cost-benefit analysis. If they release it, you can encourage copycatters. However, if you don't release it, we can't solve the problems that this person was dealing with. And maybe it will shed some light on why. And people always want to know why. Because people don't understand these things. I don't think anyone really ever can fully. The shooter was armed with two assault-style weapons and a handgun. The latest in a long string of US mass shootings have turned schools into killing zones. Okay, nice framing there. And added fuel to the national debate over gun rights and regulations. It's always there. I mean, never do anything about it. They just ban a random style of gun or something. Never gets, never solves the problem. The three weapons used on Monday were among seven firearms that Hale had legally purchased in recent years from the Nashville area stores. Metropolitan Nashville Police Chief John Drake told reports on Tuesday. Shooters and parents did not know that Shooter possessed multiple firearms, mistakenly believing that the Shooter. Yeah, they're really name dropping this person. When I was complaining in the past about them constantly name dropping professors and their titles and other corporations, and the title may as well included their own slogans, but now they're just dropping the name uh, name continuously. This is Reuters. We don't normally do Reuters. Maybe we should. Oh, why do I look so dark? It's crap weather. It's Britain. What do you expect? But still, I'm trying. I'm trying to change the name. I've already said the name once. I don't want to keep saying the name. You could argue, oh, no one's going to watch the video anyway. Yeah, but I, maybe in the future, if I get some views, then I don't want to be name dropping this person. So I'd like to get that practice in now. So why, like, refer to them as a shooter? It's not hard. I mean, it's hard for me because I'm trying to correct it. I'm reading the name in my head and trying to correct it. I'll just say H, maybe. The chief added that the mother and father felt the shooter should not have owned any weapons due to mental health concerns. Mm, that's another That's another debate as well. Should shooters, or oh, sorry, people with guns who have mental health problems, should they have guns or should they have them taken away? And a lot of people say, I think we should have, they should, shouldn't have guns. Okay, there's one thing to deny someone a gun because they have mental issues. It's one thing to then go and take guns away from someone with mental issues. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't like that job to go in a crazy person's house and take away their firearms. Imagine if you've got some full-on MAGA, you know. You're not taking my guns. You ain't taking them. Not over my dead body. Not even then. And he's like, hooked up on meth or something. And he's like, I'm sorry, sir. We're, we're coming to take your guns because we don't think you're in the right state of mind to repossess firearms and he's like they're coming it's the government yeah and they'll, they'll come out and then they'll blow them up there'll be a shooting but it's already happened it's already happened i mean i wish i could find you find you the story and read that to you but yeah bit of a side point there but you, you get the point it's a long debate it's always being had the mother on seeing the shooter leave the house with a red bag monday morning had questioned what was in the bag the chief said the shooter was under care and Doctor's care for an emotional disorder, the chief told reporters during a news briefing, without elaborating. Yeah, they're being quite hush hush with this. An attorney law, mental illness does not grant to the police to confiscate weapons unless a person is deemed mentally incompetent by a court judicially committed to a mental institution or placed under conservatorship, sorry, by reason of mental defect. Oh, God. Nice language. Oh, there's a the family there. Tennessee prohibits prohibits selling guns to persons found by a court or other legal authority to pose a danger to themselves or others or lack the capacity to conduct their own affairs due to mental illness. But merely being under a doctor's care would not in itself meet that threshold. Yeah, because otherwise you'd have a lot of people who would meet that threshold. Drake said it appeared the shooter had some sort of weapons training. The shooter fired at officers on officers from the school's second floor as they arrived in patrol cars were standing back in large windows to avoid becoming an easy target. Yeah, so. Yeah, so the shooter broke down the doors basically. Came in with 
with I don't I don't I don't have the exact you know number of guns or what types they were. I don't think they're really matters, especially if I'm addressing a UK audience. I'm not really sure at the minute. The shooter left behind a detailed map of the school, showing entry points as well as what Drake described as a manifesto, indicating that the shooter may have plans to carry out shootings at other locations. Yeah, but luckily they didn't get to anywhere, any other location. This is another thing I don't understand. This one small thing about the gun debate. Three children were shot and three teachers, I believe. But if guns are so dangerous, how come, uh, like, in these school shootings, they shoot so many? And you're in a school with hundreds and hundreds of people. Like, I know they don't have, like, full-on fully assault guns that go... They're not mowing people down. You know, the only instance of similar things was the... Was it the Las Vegas shooting, which had some iffy stuff in? And that was a bit more. But he was shooting up from a high window into a crowd, so he's going to miss. Luckily, luckily. But, um, yeah, but it's, uh, like people go in with knives and they kill the same number of people. Bombs, car attacks, Waukesha. How many people were killed there? Anyway, I'm not going to finish the article because this video is already long enough. But I'm closing that down. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my Rumble channel. Cheers. Goodbye.